Read it. Hello, I'm Joe Phonium. My name is Joe, and I play the Euphonium. So it's time for episode two of Nodami Cantabile. Um, when we last left it, they were both kind of paired, our two main characters, guy and girl, were kind of paired together um, to perform while they were doing this Mozart sonata for two pianos, the one from Oron. Um, and now I want to see, yeah, I'm interested in seeing their characters fleshed out a little more, like what her exact background training was. We didn't really learn much actually about her and Let's see how we can handle it, because I think the whole dramatic um, focus of this show is kind of like they're these two very opposing personalities, with her being like, eh, and him always being this like almost serious, like almost Patrick Bateman, I was saying, um, kind of dourish person about music and piano and all that. But let's see how it goes. I'm excited. Let's see episode two. Let's go. Isn't this like the exact same scene from the first one? Ooh, electric violin. Nice. For me, it's all about rock. That piano accompanist I set you up with quit, didn't he? Oh, was it, uh... Yeah. You're really bad. That guy Chiaki just can't keep up with my incredible musical talent. Who did it? Who unplugged my electric cord? Aww. Oh, oh, Chopin book though. <laughs> what the? Huh? I was one bite away from the best part on the inside. It was my favorite kind of sushi. Hey, easy, easy. <laughs> who, who is her English dub voice actress? I like how he is like, great, I'm still doing charity work. <laughs> how he can't, like, he just can't even. Chicken caprese. Hm. When it comes to this, she's real busy. After dinner, it's always the piano. I love how the um, music books, actually, that's something a really keen attention to detail. They're actually making them like actual printed editions, because I recognize the cover with the green border and all that. Well, that's right on time. Oh, wow. I really like the musical performances they put in this show. Bravo! You play piano with incredible soul. And it's like not the same things as well. So far, it's only two episodes. My ultimate partner. Though. Hmm? Oh. oh, and he can I feed her too now. Scream. Well, yeah, let me guess. He's just gonna start getting jealous after being glad to being rid of her for a while. I wish them luck. And then he'll come around. What? Did he? Oh, I was gonna say, what did he put on music or just? Oh. And it's... Oh. So that's the label used for Deutsche Gramophone. That label. Um, but they say Tomoko Gramophone, or Tomoko Gramophone on the, the anime DVD co CD cover. That's clever. Would Deutsche Gramophone really give them such a hard time of using that, though? Let me guess, he was being mean or weird to her. Oh, it's what's her name? Saiko? You think I'm a leech? Uh-oh. 
What? No, 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 I wasn't talking about you. So you have a new girlfriend then? No, no. That didn't take long. Don't be ridiculous. Hmm? Eh, there's no comment. Oh boy. <laughs> that was an interesting little commercial. Whoa. No, Tommy, what's wrong? Shh. Where's that soul of yours? What happened to your spirit? <laughs> no. No. It is a phantom. A purple rose. Oh boy. Come on, hurry up or we're gonna be late. And I like the use of classical oh, stuff in the score, strange. incidental. With this like reinstrumentation thing going on. Oh, withering roses. This is what heartbreaks like. Hey, cut it out. Like as opposed to just overlaying just a pure classical track, the original piece over it. Reinstrumentizing, adding that little sound effect makes a big difference to make this actually really fit well, as opposed to just being cheesy, which it could very easily be. <laughs> How could they get the roll of permission? What happened to her nose? Yes, I think you made your point. In fact, you made it pretty much all of last night. Oh. What's that supposed to mean, huh? I mustn't forget. Not long ago, I was just like that. Mm-hmm. And that one it's episode ago. Out. Anyway, so like I was saying, as I was saying, um, a lot of the musical, like, clever usage and know-how is, like, behind the scenes and, like, in the background, like in book covers, on labels, and like how they're used, they use the pieces. Just like two very different approaches to that. Chiaki can cook. A guy doesn't cook for a girl he doesn't like. If you play your cards right, you might win it back again. I think so. How? I would use like this is like a very atmospheric use of the first movement of Moonlight Sonata. Gotta hit him right where it matters the most. And don't you have any sexy clothes? Like some jogging shorts? What about makeup? That. I borrowed some from a friend. Yeah. The famous Marilyn Monroe. No, you don't. Put on makeup before. Look, you're gonna have to find a way to show your Girl. side. Come on, do your makeup. Bah. Oh, it's a chicken. What are you two doing? Just when things started to click, she went loony on me. She's always loony. Hold up. So you really believe that you might have to huh? Of course I do. The main melody should be in there. Can he? Well, maybe he. Oh, yeah, I, I play a little piano and violin. So, yeah, he can play it. And also the random moments of 3D here. Yeah, little 3D effects coming out of the animation. To the juniors, I actually won that competition in Vienna. Well, ah. I suppose I can help you a little if you want. I don't want his help. It's always rhythm this, timber that, precisely stick to the score. They tell you to put yourself into it, then jump all over you with the slightest variation. That's why I hate classical music. No, it's it's complicated. You need a strong, firm knowledge of the score. See, it's that edition. I know the edition. That's, uh... This is spring. Calmus? Yeah, what you played was called... Bad. I, I don't buy those editions, though. I've only seen them. <laughs> um... playing the violin for a little bit? That's not Calmus. Okay, but just once. But... You mean you need a good knowledge of the score, solid knowledge. And after you can demonstrate that, that's when you use your fluency to diverge from that with your own creative expression and ideas. She can play it like this after hearing the it's a little bit of a once. strange cart and horse relationship where, especially with students still gaining abilities and still learning to master a, a, a score. Would you quit sighing like that? It's kind of strange. You could put it, you know, oh, do you do this before that or do the interpretation before the technical skill? It's, that's where we get the arguments between that though. And I'm going to watch the show now. And that word is masturbation. What? That means self-indulgence. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Next, you don't know the meaning of the word ensemble. That's all I have to say. 
Slash Chiaki. What is it, Odame? Tell me. She's gonna sneeze, isn't she? Mm -hmm. I see. She says if she were to oh. receive a kiss from her prince, she might recover. Of all the. <laughs> all right. I'll play piano for you, Maynate. One time only. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> and even though it took me all the way to the top, and I'm only in my second year here. Sometimes I feel like running away. Sorry. He's very likable in this episode now. Point. He's much... My point. I dream of being a conductor. That's what drives me to keep studying. There's no such thing as talent without work. A conductor? Hard work will beat talent when talent does not work hard. Next. We're waiting for you. Let's do it. Uh, right. Today, don't worry too much about technique. What? Just make sure you listen to the piano. Mm-hmm. Probably most important, just play with your feeling. You do all the technique work and stuff to build the muscle memory and practice, so that in performance you can just package it all into more simple expression ideas. You build the muscle memory to convey those ideas well without sacrificing the technique. I don't know how I feel about the episode going between the still images for the performance and this 3D, well, this medium wow. animated thing, he comes through. and then when the semi 3D thing. I get it now. I feel secure. I feel good. I hear you passed the exam. Nice. Now our band can practice. Sorry, but I have to dissolve the band. Huh? Why? Because I only play classical music. You can do both. Nothing that says you can't, unless you're talking about just the time you're going to put into one over the other. So what exactly are you doing here, then? Food delivery. So that was interesting. I wasn't expecting them to, like, you know, I was expecting more to hold just to be more continuation of the first episode instead of... You know, here's this new guy thrown into the mix here and feeling a little more episodic, but... Yeah, like I said, Chiaki's grown on... Either it's grown on me or just the character is just a sudden amount of progression in the last episode or whatever. So it's much less abrasive, um, less, much less cynical. More now just as kind of... I don't want to say exasperated, but... Like, he's just a little too over overstretched with all of Nodame's antics, kind of, but still like the serious, the straight man, as opposed to Nodame just being this haphazard, crazy person who, but who still, you know, w it will work in good earnesty and all that. What the? Um, because, I mean, yeah, Chiaki told her to say those things, essentially, to, to, to Nine about his playing. But um, she can still be serious about it too. It's good. I still can't figure out. It just kind of ends. Anyway, um, next time. Yeah, I'll see. Someone's after me. What are you gonna do, you idiot? So next time, we'll I'll see you for Nodami Katabule episode three. Um, I'm Jophonia. My name is Joe, and I'll play the Euphonium, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Happy playing! playing.